A Sunny V2 video came out. White Chris will soon be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. Okay? And Mr. Beast responded to it. So uh, this this uh, link says, this new Sunny uh, V2 video feels really invasive for all the wrong reasons. Like, why did you make this? You delved into the man's marriage and shit. It's just really off-putting and unnecessary. Mr. Beast responded and said, yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my fucking friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. I can tell you without a shout, without a shadow of doubt that he's been seeing this shit and he's very frustrated. From what I understand, um, you know, Chris in his, in his personal life has a lot of friends that are super supportive and that's very important. But because he also is a public facing person uh, who had to uh, go through, uh, uh, you know, their own transition, their own confirmation of their own gender. And that, that journey is, a, is, is going to take some time. It's going to, there's going to be some changes that come as far as I understand from what I have seen, uh, of, of, uh, people who have, uh, went through gender confirmation, uh, even in this community, right? Now let's take a look at this, uh, video from Sunny V2, why Chris will soon be a nightmare for Mr. Beast. The description reads, Chris Tyson has been in a bit of hot water recently, and there have been plenty of videos on that, but how will this drama affect Mr. B's? What are we talking about? Did Chris Tyson come out with a oopsie? Did he say something that's fucked up? No. He's trans and he openly stated it. That's the drama. 100K thumbs up on this, 1.2 million views. Chris Tyson's situation could become a complete disaster for Mr. Beast's brand. However, it may also provide some unique benefits. So let's begin by going over the drama before explaining exactly how this will impact the Mr. Beast channel. In mid-2022, fans began to notice that Chris Tyson was changing. In the early days, he represented the quintessential Southern gun and truck loving dude. Yet beginning in March 2022, Chris began to display increasingly feminine traits, making tweets such as I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. Additionally, Chris would get him. He painted his nails. People are so like, again, you are so emotionally stunted. You are so emotionally fucking stunted and so sexually insecure. If you think that like a dude painting their fucking nails, anyone. Okay. I'm not saying Chris in this circumstance. Uh, I'm of course talking about myself as well immediately implies that you're like, there's something awry. You know, something has gone wrong. We got to stop it. Highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post reading. Okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I quote, look nothing like my passport pic so much that I'm considering updating my passport. Do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as you went from man to boy. Chris responded by stating, nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yet his Twitter photos kept insinuating I love the thriller, like the, the scary thriller music playing in the background. Like as though this is like a, 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 as though if you didn't get it, you know, if you, if you weren't already of the mindset, like I want to set the mood for you. So you're like scared. Okay, guys, this is a bad thing that's happening. Okay. Understand that what we're looking at is bad and wrong. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to set the mood for you that Chris was becoming more feminine with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January, 2023, Beast Reacts uploaded a video titled I Strapped a GoPro to a Fish in which Chris dressed in a way that prompted comments such as Chris has been adopting more and more traits that remind me of my grandmother. Okay. <laughs> Dead inside. Yeah, true. So some people just gonna ignore Chris's nails? Chris had to have lost a bet. The look is getting wild. The response to the video then prompted countless viral TikToks, such as this one with 700,000 likes, stating how did Chris go from this to this, while others even made the claim that Carl had turned him gay. Now, this was pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty ridiculous, and it is pretty funny. Uh, uh, Carl is is... 
I, I, no, he's not even gay. What the fuck? As Carl isn't even that feminine, and Chris had come out as bisexual years before he and Carl had even met. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2022, Chris would post a photo with his wife. Wait, what? Married. The true catalyst for Chris Tyson's feminization instead seemed to have come from his marriage. In January 2000. The true catalyst for Chris's feminization has come through. That is such a fucking insane statement to just like put out there as though it's a matter of fact that I had to do a quadruple take on that. So like what his wife and child feminized them. Is that what you're fucking saying? In 22, Chris would post a photo with his wife to his Instagram. Yet after this, the family photo stopped altogether. If you're the type of person who watches this and goes, yeah, this makes a lot of sense to me. I don't know what to tell you. Fans also noticed that he'd removed his wedding ring, with the ring's absence correlating perfectly with the very first post in which he'd painted his nails. Chris confirmed the split in a post from March 2023, reading, For a little over a year now, me and Katie have been separated, with this also confirming that Chris's transformation began as soon as his marriage came to an end. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family <coughs> with his beautiful wife, to now trying to be a wife. No, I'm glad that, I'm glad that this is, uh, yeah. This is what you do when you personally are not brave enough to come out and say that this is your feelings on the matter. So you're relegated to like uh, comments that you're reading off of the fucking um, comments that you're fucking reading off of uh, YouTube uh, uh, responses. Like some of the most unhinged people on the planet, right under uh, again, under the protection of anonymity under YouTube videos. That is a psychotic thing to base an entire video off of. Like, this is a human being. We're talking about a fucking human being, dude. That's crazy. It's so incredibly, devastatingly unhinged. Chris went from lighting campfires and raising a family to his beautiful wife to now being a wife and uh, to now trying to be a wife with his man bun and long nails, this person is stating. You don't know, you don't know Chris's experiences with his wife and child, okay? You don't know anything. What content creators choose to leave out of their online presence is whatever is there is on their own volition. Like they have the right to privacy, okay? I know that because of how fucking parasocial uh, content works and how parasocial relationships work on the internet. Everybody thinks they get to have a say in how you conduct yourself and they get to have an opinion on how you live your life, but it is fucking insane. He might have, for example, chosen not to post photos of his child because his child is getting older and also because of unhinged freakazoids like this guy and the thousands, if not millions of other motherfuckers on the internet that are also... Uh, uh, literally looking at every minutia, every detail of someone's life and like casting doubt and creating these like psychotic narratives off of it wife with his man buns and long nails. As the criticism continued to pile, Chris announced that he'd be taking a break from social media. And while there was a possibility that Chris would make efforts to return to his former self, he'd rather do the opposite and double down on his feminine image. What the fuck do you mean? Like, while he would make an effort to return to his former self, he doubled down. You're talking about it like it's a KFC double down, bro. Like, what do you mean? Double down on, on being, uh, like, trans? What the fuck? Showing up to the Kids' Choice Awards looking like this before making the announcement that he'd been doing HRT for approximately two months, which according to a quick Google search is the medical process for changing genders. Chris would expand on this by stating, Informed consent HRT saved my and many others' lives. The hurdles GNC people have to jump through to get life-saving gender-affirming healthcare in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies, which received a positive response from both couples. Did this motherfucker Google what HRT is? Bro, you should not be this comfortable speaking on trans uh, people and, 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 you know, trans existence if you don't even know what fucking HRT is, man. 
or country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies, which received a positive response from both Carl and Mr. Beast, who wrote, got you, I did one more heart than Carl because I'm a better friend. While his co-workers expressed positivity, others weren't so welcoming. Yeah, hey, others, I wonder who those others were, you motherfucker. Like, why are you removing yourself from this equation? You literally made a nine minute video on this. You absolute freakazoid. Like, just let trans people exist, man. What are you talking about? It's not like Chris was like, oh, uh, you know, let's fucking kill all cishet men or some shit. You're doing the age-old gamer bullshit, okay? You're doing the age-old gamer bullshit. There's only fucking, there's only two genders, okay? Man, political. A video game like Call of Duty that is uh, about expressly defending American imperialism, not political because that's a man that you're playing with. A video game that has a, uh, you know, female character in it, oh, that's political. You're doing that, but for literally the existence of a human being. It goes a father figure the kid won't ever be able to look up to. Hard times create strong men, strong men create good times, good times create weak men, and weak men create hard times. Weak man times. Chris responded to this. Yeah, live with Evan is a strong man, you know? Chris is a weak man, right? Because he's he's trans, he's going through, uh, you know, gender confirmation. Uh, but live with Evan, that's a, that's a strong man right there. Like... What the fuck are you saying, dude? You're, you're tweeting on the internet, okay? It's not like you just hunted a fucking mammoth and, er, and, and skinned it so you can fucking wear it around yourself to brave the elements, okay? You're a fucking chirper on Twitter. You're replying to the drama alert account. The fuck do you mean, hard man? You're a pussy and a significantly bigger pussy than any trans person that is a public-facing trans person who openly fucking talks about it because their lives turn to shit immediately by other pussies like you. You get fucking doxxed and endlessly harassed, swatted. Your fucking family member's information is revealed. It's psychotic. Comment by stating, this is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and GNC folks aren't safe around kids. Tucker begs for me to come back when I leave for like two days to film. A quick Google search showed me that GNC means gender non-confirming. So I can make up my mind about how I feel about that particular matter too. That's what I'm doing here. A quick Google search. I don't know what these fucking words mean. Film. He is so loved and happy. Kids aren't born with hate. It's taught by people like you. And my child will only know love. I know I'm going to be a great parent. And so is every other person who puts the love of their child before everything. I made this decision because I wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him. In a way, this was for Tucker. Chris's response received some positivity such as, I'm convinced you're an amazing father. Tucker is lucky to have you and also lucky to have all of those who surround and support you in his life. As well as I adore that, I'm glad you made that decision. It's so much easier to be a parental figure when you're not struggling with dysphoria, yet he'd also receive an equal amount of backlash. You ripped apart your family and took a father figure away from your son. Like a normal human would look at this video, okay, and cover it as this way. Are you ready? Some people were understandably supportive of this decision because they have empathy. Others were fucking freaks and decided to take matters into their own hands. Notice how the fucking freaks were the ones that got a thousand likes and the supportive people only got like three likes. You know what I mean? Mind your own damn fucking business. What the fuck? Just so you could paint your nails and act zesty. Pathetic. He will get torn apart at school. Won't want to have friends around his house. A life full of difference and being alone. Must have missed the point in that tweet. How's this for him when you're depriving him of a father? It's like, bro, how about you fucking worry about uh, also not having a, a father figure in your life, considering that, you know, you got Mr. Bitcoin in your fucking, uh, as your username, Okay. Go search for a father figure, okay? Maybe you wouldn't have become this fucking demon if you had a good one. Figure. Although Chris wasn't altered by these comments, as he'd once again reiterate his certainty in a new post. One of the funniest forms of like uh, uh, anti-trans uh, psychopathic behavior is whenever people say, 
oh, well, like, I'm not transphobic, but, like, you're ruining this kid's life because it's going to be really difficult to have a trans parent. It's like, bro, then be supportive and try to combat transphobia. Like, what the fuck do you mean? Like, what, you're asking someone to detransition? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Reading, it's never too late to start being yourself, which received praise from Mr. Beast as well as Nolan and Carl. However, these comments also added extra fuel to the fire. In a few years, look back at this thread and remember they were never your friends. Only yes men cowards. Hope you come out of this safe. Mr. Yeah, Alpha, Alpha Dog. Alpha Dog came in, dude. He knows. Bro, worry about your widow's peak, motherfucker, okay? Jesus Christ. Mr. Beast responded to this with a simple opinion irrelevant ratio, to which the original commenter would state, I have 30 followers, so go ahead and ratio me. I'll still rest easy knowing that I'm not a coward who idly sits by watching my friend ruin his own life. In some ways, it was nice to see the boys standing up for Chris on Twitter. However, the situation has already begun to change the dynamic within- No! No! 52,000 dislikes in a fucking video? No! This entire video, the reason why I mentioned the, the, this is the funniest way to do like transphobia and, and it, people used to do it with uh, homophobia as well. Let me tell you, it's the funniest way to just like be transphobic without like openly fucking saying uh, what you mean, even though Sonny does make a lot of, uh, does make a lot of statements in, in his uh, supposedly centrist piece where he's like very obviously uh, not in favor of this. The reason why I mentioned, like, this is a, 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 a profoundly sad and uh, a cowardly attempt to do transphobic content is because it hides behind it. Like, it hides behind, like, how it's being received, how someone coming out as trans is being received by others. Not me. I'm just reporting on the matter, you know? It's like, bro, are you fucking insane? You're talking about someone coming to terms with their gender. Like, what, what do you... What what's the alternative? You want them to, you want them to just like you know, uh, detransition. You want them to not do that. Is that what you want? I can't believe Chris didn't take into account Mr. Beast's uh, content. I can't believe Chris didn't take into account Mr. Beast's content before coming out as trans. That's really fucked up. He should have just resigned. You know. Not have a job anymore. That's what the right thing to do would be in this circumstance. Love that. Thank you. For example, in a recent live stream titled Opening a Thousand Mystery Art Boxes, Chris would once again dress in quite a feminine way. And while everybody participated as usual, the energy and vibe didn't feel nearly as smooth as it normally does. It felt as though there was an unaddressed elephant in the room and therefore everybody was in their head as opposed to being in the present moment enjoying each other's company. Maybe everybody was simply too busy opening packages, but Chris did make these bizarre jokes about Jimmy being female, making him incredibly uncomfortable uncomfortable oh my god jimmy look they drew you jimmy they drew you so well it looks just like you. oh yes oh my god it's Whoa. jimmy how did fan art this is what we were looking damn i can't believe that like a live stream that went on by done by people who don't regularly live stream had awkward moments dude let's parasocially project about this but of course no one will look to this and go wow how fucking weird that you are literally literally reading the worst possible reading from this because of your own fucking psychopathic uh, opinion on the matter and projecting your insecurities to like other people in this circumstance by hyper focusing on a singular moment over the course of a fucking however long hour live stream conducted by people who don't do live streams. But of course, that's not weird. The weird thing is that Chris is trans. That's the weird thing. Please. I'm not weird for parasocially fucking analyzing this like a psychopath looking for be brave be honest be kind mr Beast. that is my tagline becoming even weirder when each member started to pay each other compliments hey nice shirt thanks dude nice shirt hey nice shirt oh. thanks dude nice shirt thanks that's like that that literally is that is oh god i think it makes me more frustrated because i know these people personally like i don't know chris but i, I i've i've met jimmy and i know carl very well you know what i mean like it's just like, I know, I, I, I talk to them behind the scenes, 
I know how they feel about these sorts of things. So it makes me additionally fucking frustrated when I hear some random dipshit all the way from down under making parasocial fucking commentary on things he doesn't understand. Oh my God. Like, yeah, they got real fucking awkward when Carl came in. Gayifying Chris one more time. Nice shirt. Nice shoes. For the most part, the live stream was devoid of awkward moments. However, it would act as fodder for another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that like, people will- Like, you look at this, you look at this, and you don't think that there's something wrong with this? I'm gonna miss the go. 28 million views. <sighs> Dead. Chris sitting closer to Jimmy. 20 million views. Name one in the room. Mr. Beast confronts Chris after coming out. Dead. Like, this is literally a problem. Like, a normal human should look at this and go, holy fuck, people are so insane. So, if you're trans and you see this kind of thing and you get scared, remember, people in the real world, when they do see this, okay, when they do see this, they recognize it as unfucking hinged okay? Another 100 million views worth of drama and criticism. Chris likely believes that people will slowly adapt to his new appearance over time, but is this really going to happen? Well, <laughs> Well, not if I have something to say about it. <laughs> That's right. Will people fucking let go of Chris transitioning? <laughs> not if I've got any fucking power in my bones. To make sure that people fucking get mad? Maybe. It's difficult to say as the situation is fairly unique, especially when considering Chris's reputation and influence. However, if Chris continues to transition, would it be unreasonable to say that he could jeopardize some of the personality traits which made him a successful member in the first place? Perhaps the opposite will happen and he'll instead pick up new personality traits that better resonate with the current Mr. Beast audience. This was put forward in many comments supportive of Chris, who implied that there'll be millions of queer kids who look up to him, although this doesn't necessarily mean that it'll add any value to the videos. Mr. Beast has likely called- <laughs> This is not going to fucking add value to the videos. If queer people are looking up to you, who gives a fuck? They should also think about their corporate opportunities later on in life and decide not to be fucking queer. Bro thinks he's the manager. Yeah, dude, it's fucking wild, dude cultivated a massive LGBT audience, all of whom are already watching anyway. And if we've learned anything from Hollywood in recent years, it's that adding over the top LGBT characters for the sake of relatability rarely works as intended. And it's- Bro, he's talking about this like, Chris's transition is like a business decision. He's talking about it like, uh, it's like, this is, this is giving like, why is Lizzo in this fucking movie energy? Okay. Like, this is not a character. This is a human being, you fucking dingus, you donkey. What the fuck is wrong with you? It is often nothing more than a distraction from the premise of the movie or video. On top of this, it can be uncomfortable and unrelatable for the silent majority. Although, as we have seen, a situation like Chris's does have the potential to create an otherworldly amount of discussion, which could be seen as a benefit for the Mr. Beast brand. Drama is good for growth, 100%. That would be an easy way to up my so piece you're if a I got star it. The problem is this type of situation is probably the last thing that Mr. Beast wants to- You can't say anything without being cancelled. Like, trans people exist everywhere, okay? And it's rarely a point of contention until some fucking right-wing freakazoid points to it and goes, let's all fucking unload on this person. Let's all unload all of our anxiety. Let's all get mad that this person fucking exists next to cis people. That's it. There are hundreds of thousands of trans people that currently exist in society, no matter what the fuck you have to say about it. The only reason why it turns into a point of contention is because right-wing freakazoids literally go, that's fucked up. We got to do something about it. Or they do the lighter version of that. Okay. They do the lighter version of that, which is like, oh, a lot of people are going to get fucking mad about this, uh, I say, uh, because of Chris's selfish decision to fucking transition while being a part of the Mr. Beast franchise is fucked up. 
fact, as he's forced to agree with Chris's position, as he has no way of manipulating the situation without being painted as the bad guy. It's a lose-lose situation for Mr. Beast. I think Jimmy is in an inescapable situation. If he kicks out Chris, cancelled. If he don't, his channel will die for real. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves- Chris is not pushing an agenda. Chris is just being himself. This person is pushing an agenda. And even if you were to say Chris is pushing an agenda, that agenda would be what? That you should be comfortable with your gender? That you should be comfortable with your sexuality? That's the agenda? You have a problem with that agenda? And your agenda is what? You shouldn't be comfortable with your sexuality or your gender? Is that what your agenda is? Because your agenda sucks, if that's the point. Like, let's say that... Let's say that every trans person automatically is pushing an agenda. What is that agenda? That, again, like I said, live and let live. Wow, man. Surely a really fucked up agenda to push, man. Holy fuck. Deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance of Chris's transition, a silence or even worse, disapproval. Like, how can... Uh, this is the one last thing I gotta say. I keep pausing this part of the video, but... How can you say people are terrified of speaking out against trans people when you made this fucking video... And it has 100,000 likes. You made this video, didn't even feel shame to make this video, and you literally put it up knowing full well that you are going to garner a massive audience and get a lot of fucking attention for it. Clearly, it doesn't matter. Being transphobic pays, okay? The idea that like trans people uh, have any amount of power other than basically chirping at you on fucking Twitter is a laughable one, especially when at the legislative level, the Republican Party is literally doing everything they can to eradicate trans existence, making sure that you can't be trans in public, making sure that you can't actually transition, forcibly detransitioning people, trying to kidnap trans children and take them away from their fucking parents if they are good parents and understanding like all of these things are happening in the united states of america and dumb motherfuckers on the timeline on in on the on the sphere of this uh this idiotic hellscape that we know as twitter go well all that's happening but someone actually fucking yelled at me and said i'm transphobic because i said trans people are pedophiles and that's actually the real uh oppression it's crazy it's crazy there are motherfuckers like Matt Walsh with millions of followers that like openly agitate. They basically are fucking advocating for a trans genocide. Meanwhile, a couple fucking anime avatar trans people yelled at you and said you're transphobic. Oh no. It's so exhausting, dude would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, in accepting Chris's transition, Jimmy implies that this will be the new normal within the content, thus annoying a different group of people, many of whom will never express their true feelings and may rather simply click on fewer Mr. Beast videos. If this is the case, Jimmy has no option but to accept- This is fucking bullshit, okay? Guess what, dude? Fuck those people, okay? Like I said, <clears throat> I am one of the largest Twitch streamers on the motherfucking planet, okay? If I can straight up routinely fucking do political commentary while also making it a trans-inclusive place, everyone else can too, okay? The idea, and no one should be fearful of this, this is a way to try and stop people from allowing their trans friends to continue being a part of the conversation, to continue being a part of the content, okay? Okay? As long as you fucking put your head down and keep making the same exact shit that you've been making, your audience is going to continue growing, okay? Just treat trans people like they're people. That's it. Nothing is different. Nothing is different. That's it. It's bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, dude this fate, as removing Chris from the videos in any kind of way, could create an even more severe media firestorm. The only clean solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself, and even then rumours and bad press will be unavoidable. Whether it be arrogance or ignorance, Chris seems oblivious to how this whole thing might impact Jimmy, forgetting that he achieved his current level of success by avoiding this exact type of drama. That's bullshit, man. That's fucking bullshit. It, 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 is, it is so insane. Yeah, you should resign because you're a trans, dude. Thanks.
That's all you need to do is subscribe, obviously. 